Hello, uh, here is Anton speaking. Um, today I will present you a little add-on on how to uh, segregate uh, your data set according to simple geometries. Uh, that is basically discomposite between parts or entities that you want to, to differentiate for your post-processing. Uh, this can be done using that add-on that is called uh, Pick Alter Tool. So you will find it in the Techplot installation directory. Uh, in the bin directory, you have the DLL, which is called uh, TechUtil Tools Pick Alter. And uh, to have it loaded at TechPod Start, you will just uh, edit the TechPod.add file here. And uh, at the end of the file, you'll simply um, put that uh, exclamation mark load add-on command, uh, followed by quotes, and between those quotes, the name of the DLL to be loaded, Pick Alter here. Uh, that's all you need to basically have the add-on loaded within TechPlot. And I will demonstrate uh, what that add-on does on a simple uh, data set. So uh, this is a half wing. Um, it's uh, from the drug prediction workshop. And um, well, if we get interested in the uh, edges, for example, of the zones that are composing that uh, data set, as you can see, there's a lot of zone and it may be hard if you want to compute something, let's say, on the wing or something only on the fuselage, uh, it may be hard to uh, segregate those two things. Uh, this is where uh, the little add-on comes and uh, is handy. Uh, so the first thing we will do, we will just create a blank variable and we'll set it to zero everywhere on the domain. Um, so here if I display a contour with the edges once again, we can see that the blank value is zero everywhere. Um, all right. So now the add-on, where to find it? It's uh, in the data pick and change menu. And uh, here it is. So it basically allows you to define uh, simple geometries and uh, to change the value of a variable according to those geometries. So here I'll take a XY view and I'll draw a um, polygon. So I will just basically take the wing here. Mm trying to be precise, up. and here I just take the overall wing. What we will do, we'll set the blank value to 1 within that wing, so uh, you can either set it or uh, you can also modify it, so plus 1 would also set it to 1. Um, here you have two options, so tunnel through or surface only. So surface only would basically take the first encountered surface, uh, which in that case would be the top of the wing. Uh, here we'll get a tunnel through option, so it's basically every cell that falls within the extraction uh, in the screen direction of that polygon here. Uh, I click on apply alter alteration, sorry. And as you can see, uh, the, um, the wing has been set at 1 for the blanking value. So I'll quit that add-on, and here it is. This is very uh, important for some of our customers are there, um, for example, computing uh, full configuration aircraft, and they want to know, for example, after computing the drag, they'd like to know what is the uh, wing contribution to the drag and the overall uh, drag, or what is the engine contribution to the drag and so on. Um, so we'll just uh, here calculate a simple variable, sorry, we'll integrate a simple variable. So this would be just the area of the geometry here, which is my time strength uh, 999. And uh, by clicking Integrate, I will just receive the, um, uh, the area of my whole uh, geometry. I'll make it text on my frame here. And this is basically my full plane. All right. Just click on Accept here. So uh, this is the area of the overall plane. Uh, now I will just be interested in the area of the wing, and uh, to do that I will just use the value blanking. So in plot, blanking, value blanking, I am able to define a blanking. So here I will activate a blanking when the blank value is not equal to 1. So basically everything that is not uh, the wing. So by clicking activate, I just uh, crop the fuselage. And uh, once again I go to perform integration. Here you need to make sure that the exclude blank region option is toggled on. Uh, that means basically you do not uh, take into account, for example, the fuselage in that case. Clicking integrate, and here I get the result for the um, wing only. 
So I can make it text, I can just copy it here. Right. And uh, once again, I can do it. Um, so this time I'll blank when it's, uh, when the blanking va variable, sorry, is equals to zero. So I'll just get the fuselage. If I click on integrate here, I just get the result for the fuselage. I close it here and I'll just put fuselage here. All right. And uh, this is a very convenient way of, uh, let's say, segregating the um, your data set here. Um, so this is a very simple example, but I'll uh, explore a bit what possibilities you have with that add-on, uh, particularly in how to choose cells. So um, you can choose cells by clicking them one by one. You can also draw a rectangle, and this is nice because you can rotate without having that rectangle changing. Um, everything you draw within that add-on, you can just uh, drag and drop it uh, to the place of interest. So here, for example, if I put it to zero, um, I click apply iteration, and you see it's been cropped. Uh, I just put it back to one. All right. Uh, you have circles as well, polygons, so that's the one I used. And uh, you also have like cubes, so you can define your cubes by um, so the first corner and then the size, or uh, having spheres. So if you want to um, blank everything that is in that sphere, for example, you just put it to zero, click apply iteration. And when you activate, you just get the fuselage plus uh, the elements that are within that sphere. Uh, this is it for the little demonstration about that Alan. Um, if you have any question, you can write to me at antoine.lager at geniuscoregraphics.de. Thank you very much for your attention and uh, have a good day. Bye-bye.